Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Old Key West Resort and we are going to have brunch at Olivia's Cafe. I'm so excited. A lot of people say this is the best brunch in Walt Disney World, so I figured we'd come on out and check it out. We're going to drink some mimosas, eat some food, and have a beautiful Old Key West kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. I love Disney's Old Key West Resort. I think it's so beautiful here, especially with all the different colors on the buildings. I think it looks so nice with the trees and very tropical. Disney's Old Key West Resort is a Disney Vacation Club Resort. In fact, it was the original Disney Vacation Club Resort. And that doesn't mean you still can't come here. You can actually get a reservation for Olivia's on the My Disney Experience app. And like I said, they do brunch and dinner. And here it is, Olivia's. Brunch is served from 7.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. And then they close down and reopen for dinner from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. I've had dinner here before and it's always amazing. I love to get the chicken, but it being brunch, I think I'm gonna try something different today. The restaurant itself is so beautiful and it has amazing theming. And you can sit indoors or you can sit outdoors. And I think we're gonna sit outdoors today. Nice on this little patio. Oh, there's my brunch buddies. <laughs> my brunch buddies. <laughs> Here is a look at the menu itself. They've got some specialty cocktails like the Parrot Punch, the Loaded Key West Bloody Mary, and then Olivia's Eye Opener. Look at that, tequila, orange juice, and grenadine. That sounds actually really amazing. And then for appetizers, they have oatmeal brulee, and then shrimp fritas. Oh, look at this little sign that says, hey, Mr. Morrow. Hi. <laughs> That's awesome. That is so cool. Hey, Mr. Morrow. Wow. <laughs> I feel like we need to, like, make a sign back. I know, them. right? Does anybody have any crayons? Yeah, let me go get some for the yeah. Oh, I like your captain hat. Oh, That's very, you. everyone looks very brunch, Sunday, brunch. appropriate yeah, right now. Brunch yeah, out. everyone looks very brunch appropriate. Where's Kristen? She's trying to find a parking spot. Oh, okay. <laughs> this one, this is the most brunch appropriate dress. Oh, look yeah, at look Olivia. at her. Right Olivia is doing it right. <laughs> I was looking to get a mimosa because I feel like mimosas go hand in hand with brunch, but everybody's getting Olivia's eye opener, so it looks like we're jumping straight to tequila and orange juice. I mean, I don't know how it, it escalated very fast. And then also, we got their special press pot coffee, so it's like a double eye opener. <laughs> For the entrees, they have the Southern Moist Buttermilk Fried Chicken, which is their popular item here, but they also have banana bread pudding, they've got a sombrero beach omelet, they've got Olivia's breakfast, shrimp and grits, Papa's hash, Papa's hash, yeah, buttermilk pancakes with eggs, this all looks really good, I don't know what, I don't know which one I'm going to get, usually I just stick to the chicken, I do, I stick to the chicken, but I feel like I should try something different. Different. Maybe Papa's hash and some banana bread pudding. <laughs> press that pot right there. All right, here we go. He said it's not a plunger, it's a presser. Yep. Do it all the way down? All the way down. I feel like it's going out. There you go. Sir, would you like some? Make sure that. Whoa! There we go. A spot of coffee. This is going to be some good coffee right there. We decided on getting all of the appetizers, so we've got some oatmeal brulee, we've got the shrimp fritas, and we've also got the fresh fruit. Oh, did you get the soup of the day too? Mm -hmm. Sean got the soup. I can count on him for the soup. Here it is, the Olivia's Eye Opener. Uh, I think they said there's pineapple juice, orange juice, grenadine, and then uh, tequila in there. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Let's open our eyes. Eye openers. I decided to stir mine up a little bit because everyone took their initial sip and I seen their eyes open right up. Yeah, I've seen it. I think they might put the tequila right on top. So I gave it a little spin. Ooh. Still, still, still. Still. Still, yeah. But it is better when you stir it around a little bit. And look at the color difference. Mm -hmm. like, look at. It's actually really pretty. <laughs> Here comes the appetizers. We've got the oatmeal brulee with a little strawberry on top. Shrimp fritters. 
fritters. <laughs> I said for, for what did I say? Frittatas? I got my pal. You said Fritas. Fritas. Frittatas. And then there's the uh, the fresh fruit. It looks good. All this looks good. I'm excited to try those. All right. I'm diving into this oatmeal. I'm going to take a little scoop. Flop it right there. I'm a big fan of oatmeal. I really... Oh, look at that. Wow. You can actually see a lot of that syrup on there or the actual brulee. That's going to be good. Anybody else? Anybody else would like some oatmeal? I like oatmeal, but I want to try it. Like, yeah, it's I've brulee. I've tried oatmeal multiple times. I'm just not a fan. Oh. Here we go. I've never had brulee oatmeal. This is the first for me, but like I said, I, re I like regular oatmeal. It's good. It kind of tastes like regular oatmeal, though. I really didn't taste much brulee. Like a little bit, but it's not sweet. It's like unsweetened oatmeal. All right, I'm gonna try one of the shrimp fritters. And this is a uh, key lime, like honey mustard sauce. So I don't think I'm gonna do that. Oh, they're soft. I thought they would be like a little crispy. No, they're soft. I gotta break this open first. First, we're gonna actually break it in half. See what it looks like on the inside there. Looks actually really good. Looks like lots of shrimp in there. And now we're going in for our first bite. I don't actually know how I'm gonna feel about this, but I'm willing to try. Yo. This is absolutely amazing. I really do love it. I don't know why, it reminds me of like a spicy chicken nugget for some reason, but there's no spice. It just, it, it just reminds me of it. Lots of shrimp though. Very, very delicious. All right, the main event has arrived. We've got the chicken fried chicken with the uh, country gravy, the mashed potatoes, the broccolini, and then the biscuit. And look at this biscuit. This isn't like your normal Disney biscuit. This is super biscuit. Yeah, look at that. It the rises soup. up good. Oh, you got the soup. How is the soup? Delicious. And with the biscuit, when you're Oh, there. man, I should have got the soup. But instead, I opted on getting the banana bread, uh, like French toast, or the, the banana, but the banana uh, warm bread pudding. And it's kind of like a muffin. And you can see it's got the bananas on there, a little strawberry and sausage. I like how they have the griddle lines on the sausage. That means they're cooking it on a broiler. But... I'm excited. This is a lot of and food. They said they changed it. That oh, they like changed a it? Molten lava cake. And oh. So when you like open it up, it's gonna like fill out. We have to get that shot. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna break on into this uh, banana bread. Look at this. Oh my lord, he wasn't kidding. Look at that. Oh boy. This is gonna be much too good. Look, oh, I am so excited for this. It's almost like they French toast a banana nut muffin. <laughs> That's what it looks like, but here we go. First bite. This is so good. I like the texture of it. I'm a big banana nut fan. Like even my favorite cookie at Gideon's is the uh, chocolate chip banana cookie, and I am obsessed. I can't wait to try the sausage too, but it's hard. It's hard for me to come and not get this chicken because it's that good. So at least we can share. We can share. It looks like I have some sausage left over. Daddy, would you like some sausage? Do not ask me that. <laughs> not that Daddy, would you like some sausage? <laughs> Daddy, would you like some sausage? <laughs> All right. Now I am going on in for the fried chicken. Look at this. Right down the middle. Oh, so good. Right down Main Street. <laughs> Get the gravy, the mashed potatoes. Oh, this is boneless. Oh, yes. Make sure you get some of the mashed potatoes and the gravy all in one bite. And cheers. Cheers to fried chicken. Now we're going to take some of this biscuit. And then you just scoop the biscuit with the mashed potatoes and the gravy. Actually, I should have asked for extra gravy. Because that would have been the play right there. Look at that. I could have had my gravy. Oh, I could have had your gravy because you got no gravy. Who does that? Who does that? Like a true man. <laughs> what? <laughs> the chicken is so good. The biscuit is amazing. I love this. This is such a good meal. 
And honestly, it's not so much like a, a brunch thing. They should do chicken and waffles. Can you imagine? All right, now that we are done with brunch, which by the way was amazing. I loved my banana bread pudding. That was so good. And the chicken, like I said, the chicken fried chicken, you, you can't go wrong with it. It's just such a staple, especially anytime you come here. And anyone who has ever dined here knows exactly what I'm talking about. There's just something about it, but it was all amazing. And now we wanna kinda keep with the uh, tropical, outdoorsy, like fun atmosphere so we're gonna do something else kind of like that we're gonna go from Disney's old Key West Resort to Disney's contemporary resort and we're gonna go out and uh, rent a boat do a little boating a little water sports oh my lord is that Harry Potter we decided to come on over and rent our own private pontoon boat and go sailing around Seven Seas Lagoon and Bay Lake. This is such a cool experience and it's so fun to do. A lot of people don't even know that you can do it. Right here at the Contemporary Resort Marina is the Boat Nook and the Boat Nook. And uh, this is the prices it costs to actually uh, rent your own private pontoon. $45 for 30 minutes, 90 for 60, and that's up to 10 guests. So it's actually really affordable, especially if 10 people come. And we've got five with us today. You can also get a guided base fishing excursion or a firework cruise. There's a lot of great stuff to do here, but it does close at 5 p.m. This ain't my first time. I always, I, I come here all the time. In fact, I remember I got to bring my mom and sister out here one time and we went all around Bay Lake and it was beautiful. We could drive right up to almost the front of like the train station or the entrance to Magic Kingdom where you can line your boat up with Cinderella Castle. And like I said, I know I've, I've videoed this before, but kind of just want to have a nice little sunny day, you know? So who's taking it out first? I think, I think uh, this guy needs to wear the hat on that luscious hat. He's going to be the captain? <laughs> <laughs> Let me finish my ice cream bar first and I'll go out. <laughs> like your shirt, All right. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Bye. Doc, so watch Go ahead. After you, Derek. Go no, after you, oh, please. Derek. Captain first. Derek? Captain, my captain. <laughs> captain, my captain first, please. This is such an awesome experience. Look at this. We're going out to our own boat. Ooh. Oh, this is the one. This is our one. This is uh, this is our beauty. Watch out. Those seats get a little hot. <laughs> Promise is starting out as the captain for today. She's gonna back us on out. Yep. I'm excited. I like to back out a good boat. Oh. <laughs> I've done it many a day. <laughs> you guys are all good to go. Thank you. All like good to go. Who's the music maestro? Yeah, we need music maestro. Thank you, Sean Lennon. <laughs> Faster. You're good. There you go. Look at this guy. Cut her hard to the right. Look at this. All right, now I work for Disney. Yep. There's the dock there, and we're out. Right over there is uh, Discovery Island, the old abandoned park. Look at this. We got a pro now. I know. <laughs> Ooh, someone's out there fishing right now. We're coming up on Discovery Island, rocking to some Moana. Yep. <laughs> you can see it's actually all like caged up and you can see the entrance there. How cool is that? And then there's another dock over here. Listening to a little Lost Bros right now. Oh yeah. We're driving right by Bay Lake right now and the Contemporary. And it's so strange to be able to see it from this point of view. Wow, look at that. Wow. All of the other boat transportation has the right of way. So when the ferries are coming, we have to just sit here and wait. Look at it, it's kind of cool though. Look at that, and the castle's right there. There's the Magic Kingdom. We've officially made it in front of the Magic Kingdom. Look at Cinderella Castle there, the train station. We're directly 
almost on Main Street. That is so awesome. Oh yeah. Yo, the music maker back there. <laughs> yeah, she knew. Happily ever after. Take hold. Wow, we should all get some photos, <laughs> right? <laughs> Just sitting here relaxing. No, oh, I hope that sunblock does good. It's glimmering. It's supposed to be glimmering. Wow. We've got the Polynesian music playing. The bungalows are right there. Two ferries are about to pass us right here. Look at this. This is a good Sunday right now. Hey, wait a second. Travis ain't wearing the captain hat. I got my Steamboat Willie. It's officially my hat now. Ah. I got the Steamboat Willie though. There's the new captain. <laughs> Yeah. That's the way. We're making our way to the shoe tree. This is where all of the cast members that leave uh, boat transportation, they throw their shoes in the tree. And there's tons of different shoes in there. Look at all those shoes. Look at all those chickens. Look at all those. Oh, some floating in the water right there, too. Go pick them off. And look you can at tell that. They're all cast member shoes because they're all white. So you have yeah. to like. Oh, look, white. I see a pair of Adidas right there. Oh, there's nice ones. <laughs> all right, we're bringing her back in. Travis, take us home. I got you. Travis, take the wheel. Travis, take the wheel. <laughs> and with that, we are all done with our little bo uh, boating excursion. And now I think it's time we uh, make our way home check on Gracie girl and probably call her a day. I love getting home and having Gracie just sitting at the top of the stairs waiting for me. Look at you. She is such a little precious angel. You guys, you wanna show everyone your new dog beds? Where we put all your dog beds, you wanna show them? Of course, if you guys haven't seen my vlog I put out, I think the other day, I went yard sailing around Walt Disney World, like around Windermere, and I ended up getting Gracie a bunch of Disney dog beds, and I only paid $20 for them. Brand new dog beds in the bag with the tags on them, and now she has dog beds for days. She has dog beds everywhere. Would you like to show everybody all of your new dog beds? Look at this one in the closet. She likes sitting in here sometimes, especially when it's like a thunderstorm outside. I think she feels safe because it's so uh, like close in there. But look at her. Look at her. She loves her new dog beds. Let's show them the other ones, huh? Come on, what are you doing? Let's go show them the other ones. Of course, I've showed you guys this one over here. There she goes. See, the thing is, is Gracie doesn't like hardwood floors. She, uh, she likes carpeting, and uh, that's why I get her so many dog beds, because I like for her to be able to have one in every single spot. Look how comfy she gets. She loves all of her dog beds. And then I got one in this corner. Let's see if I can get her to come over here. Come on, Gracie. Come on. Let's see. You like this one? Oh yes, oh, <laughs> you are adorable, yes, yes. And then of course she's got her big dog bed and then I think she has like four or five dog beds on the porch. I'm not even like lying, look at her. There's like tons of dog beds there. What are those, scare you? Huh? You're a good girl, you wanna go for a walk? Let's take her for a walk, let's go outside, come on. It's kind of crazy, I haven't decorated my apartment yet. Well, I haven't like hung up all of my Disney memorabilia and stuff like that. I just have it uh, downstairs in storage because I don't plan on staying here for long. I do eventually want to buy a house. So I was like, oh, if I don't plan on staying long, you know, I don't want to get all comfortable and stuff like that. So uh, once I do, you know, finally get a house or something like that, I'll uh, do a little update on, uh, most of my Disney memorabilia and stuff like that, just to show you guys. And holy moly, I am super red. 
I am super, super red. I definitely got sunburned. Even though I did wear sunscreen when we were on the boat, I went to uh, my barber's before I got home, and my barber was like, oh, looks like somebody got some sun, and I got myself a nice little beard trim. They always do a good job. I like to go to V's, or I like to go to Hammer and Nails. Look at that, fancy. It has been such an amazing day today. The weather is just perfect. Now we're walking Gracie a little bit. I wanna take her down. I always show you guys this, but there's this little dock over here in Windermere. I always like coming to this area because it's so pretty. It's got nice trees and picnic tables. And then it even has some grills there too, so you can do some cookouts. And it's right on the lake here. So it's very nice. And Gracie likes to come over here because there's uh a little dock right there that you can go out and sometimes there's an alligator like just sitting there waiting she always likes to stop in and see how mr alligator is doing what are you doing come on we're going to the dock look at these trees aren't they so beautiful i love it let's go see if your friend the alligator is over here look at this is the dock i was talking about come on yeah are you excited she actually loves coming over here oh yeah and it's such a beautiful view. Let's see, where's Mr. Alligator? Usually he's hanging out right here. That means somebody's probably feeding him. You know what I mean? If they're hanging around a dock, it usually that's usually the reason why, which is illegal. You should never feed any alligators in Florida. Unless you're at Gatorland. No, looks like he's not here today, Grace. Let's check this side. No, where's your buddy? Where's your buddy? You out of here? <laughs> She's like, no, thank you. And with that, we are done here today. It was an epic day. I had a lot of fun, had some brunch, went out on a boat. Brunch and a boat, those are just two great combinations right there. And then I came home and hung out with Gracie, got a nice little beard shave or treat up, a, a, a beard up, a beard up. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I have a lot of traveling to do the next couple of weeks. So uh, I'm going to be in all different places, actually. It's really exciting. I am very excited to show you the places we will go because it is going to be a good time. But we'll have to wait. We'll have to wait. And also, a lot of people ask me about uh, my time up in PA. Um, and why I didn't make any videos. I plan on going back up to Pennsylvania to um, make like my regular road trip up there to go see like my mom and do like the theme parks and stuff like that. This last trip, I just wanted to go up there for Mother's Day and just spend some family time together, you know? That's all we did, just a couple days, me, my mom, and sister, and uh, it was really nice. It was kind of like a little vacation within a vacation, you know what I mean? It was really cool, but lots of traveling to come, and uh, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!